Welcome everybody to another episode of the Center Circle podcast. Um, I am a new member of the. No, I'm joking. Uh, it's been a been a minute, been a while. Yeah, it's been a while. Um, you know, little little holiday, you know, little little bits and bobs. Uh, but recharge but the batteries and that. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Dealing with you, what's needed, isn't it? But um. But yeah, good to be back. What we like keep episode fifty what? Fifty eight, I believe. Fifty eight. Yeah. Flying, flying. Um, so yeah, today you got myself, John. Binzi. Key in the building. Before we go on to this weekend's uh drama, just a quick one. Just uh as always, please like, comment, subscribe, share. Um, even if you're coming to comment rubbish and negativity, still come on. We're ready. We're ready. We want we want we want all conversation and discourse. Um, but yeah. Let's just get straight to it, man. The Premier League. I mean, Liverpool. Liverpool, Crystal Palace. Liverpool, nil. Crystal Palace, one. Uh, which means a loss for Liverpool at Anfield uh, at the hands of Crystal Palace. Doesn't that break some kind of record? We, have, we haven't lost in, at home in a league in a, in a, in a long time. How, how long? Eight, 18 months, it might Oof. be. That's, that's tough. But after Thursday's performance, which we won't discuss... Um, what when you lot made Skamaka look like Harlan's older, bro- older brother? <laughs> funny, funny. <laughs> um, there was always the possibility of a hangover, and certainly was. Um, so within the first 45 seconds, because I, I, I made sure I looked at the time, um, Allison had to make two saves <laughs> in the first 45 seconds, and I was like, Yeah, it's gonna be a long afternoon. Like, they, they didn't start the game as a team who were A, challenging for a league title and B, wanted to kind of put a past bad performance behind them. Mm. It was very nervy from the off. And So sorry, just on that, you said you were expecting a hangover, not a reaction, because sometimes after those bad games, yeah. I think, oh, is the next team going to get a slap in because reaction? So, But you were already expecting a hangover. Yeah, so if you look at the last month in totality, mm. So a month ago, we had a second leg against Prague at, at Anfield, battered them. I think it was like 6-2 yeah. on the night. Something just like absolutely battered them. And every game since then, we've we've struggled in some capacity. So Sheffield United at home, um, it was 1-1 for a long period. Had to get over the line. There was another league game, I can't, I can't remember, just after she- the, she- the Sheffield United performance. Again, we are, we're, le- we, we're laboring. And then you go to the draw against Man United last week. Obviously, we lose uh, against Atalanta at home. No one really expecting that. Could like we're favourites from the competition. Everyone mm. thought we go over the line. And I know there's a lot of discourse around we've gone behind 21 times out of 32 in the league. <laughs> is it going to catch up with us? And today, it did. Like, ultimately, it's taken until April, which is which is kind of good. You can say, fair. We, on the flip side, you can say, well, you've got the character mentality to go behind and get the wins or get the draws, etc. True, but you don't want to be doing that too often. And this yeah. is it. So you could say, <clears throat> this is a time where it's finally caught up with us. Uh, a few players look tired. Like, this was McAllister's worst game in a, in a very long time. Um, Endo looked off the boil. To be fair, everyone looked off the boil apart from Robertson, to be honest. Yeah. And that's, and that's saying something. So, um, but is it a game that because you know, but I, I I didn't see the game and I've not seen the highlights. But by by if I take a a, a stats view, you know, uh, if I take a stat overview, um, <laughs> it, it's twenty one shot Liverpool twenty one shots, um, seventy percent six, six on target. Though. Oh, I'm yeah. coming to the target. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about that. Seventy yeah. percent possession, like pass accuracy was up, all that stuff. But it was it useless possession? Was it useless control? Was or oh. yeah, pretty like. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't a case of us being bad. It was Crystal Palace making us look bad. Okay, so cool. we we started off started off slowly, got a bit of the possession of the ball, etc. But wasn't doing anything with it. Yeah. And then their goal was really good, man. Like it was, uh, it came from the, our right hand side. Bradley struggled a bit today before he came off, um, and it was a really good finish by by Eze. Like, and I wasn't surprised. Like we, <laughs> we'd be going behind. Like I say, wasn't surprised. And then after that, we we had the ball. We just weren't weren't doing much with mm, it. Mm. Shortly after they scored, um, Van Dyke slipped after the ball got played through. Look, 
Nearly yeah. replicated Van der Ven yesterday. <laughs> like he was very he lucky. Transform, yeah? <laughs> he transformed, yeah. So he slipped. Mateta threw one on one with Allison. Dinks it over Allison, but luckily Robertson gets back on <laughs> just on time. and cleared it. Like you know, when the ball's kind of half in the goal, well, half. You yeah, already know how I feel about Crystal Palace strikers, bro. So yeah, we we got away with that one, and then even in the second half, Mateta had another clear cut chance, good save from Allison. But we did have chances, like in the first half. Diaz forced a good save from Henderson. Uh, Nunes had a uh, a shot saved by Henderson where he, he really should have scored. Salah had a chance. Um, I'm sure there's another one. It was just everything looked forced. Like Li- Klopp Liverpool yeah. is quite free flowing and it looks natural. Like even without kind of Mane and uh, Firmino, Firmino being there, going forward, like when we look good, it's just flowing. It's just like, yeah, it looks nice. It gets to your tedious. point earlier, you know, they only had eight shots. They had five on target. You had six shots on target. You know, it just seems like you guys were wasteful today. A bit profligate. It just went Yeah, out. like, and I, you can say it's been coming. Like, with going back to the uh, mm-hmm. Atlanta game, had a lot of the ball, but we're not, we're not doing much of it. We're not creating the, the clear-cut chances. And when we are, the strikers are not putting the ball in the back of the net. So... Jones had a really bad miss, didn't he, as well? Oh, yeah, but that's the one. Oh, my days. He was through clean one-on-one. Yeah. No defenders on him. Just him and Henderson. I think, But they said the ball bubbled, but I didn't see I, it on I the don't replay. Think, but I, don't think, I think he, he, he was just too confident. You know when you're you're through and you're like, yeah, I got this. Yeah. And he just... Kicked kicked it well, wide. did he angle yeah. to go far post and start it? No. Wide. Aye. He went yeah. wide. He was, like, he was like central. Sent, Keepers yeah. come out. But you think he's going to slot it? You know, you're kind of half celebrating. Yeah. And then... Yeah. It wasn't even just outside of the post. Yeah, he, put, it was like, he, put it well, he put it well wide. And yeah, it was just it was just a bad day in the office. Like I like I think I think today's performance was worse than Thursday's. I know like Atlanta scored three. Yeah. But I just think they just punished you better than yeah, 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 pretty much. Yeah. And Thursday there were like some good performances from most players. Like Robbo played well. I think Gatko played pretty well when he came on. Aside from that, it was it was tedious and like no excuse. It, it looks like everything had taken its toll and it just culminated in yeah. today's game. And I thought it would have happened A, in an uh, away game and B, maybe against someone a little bit better than Crystal Palace. No yeah. offence. Yeah, kind yeah. of oh. like, this is, his, this is Glasner's second win since he's come in. Like he won his first game and he yeah. hasn't won a game since. Yeah. <coughs> and for me, when I was looking at Palace, they, they went with a system. They they they, they were brave with the system because they played the three four three, didn't they? Yeah, and it was more, like, more five. Yeah, more, but, yeah, but yeah, okay, yeah, but it was brave. It was five at the back. Yeah, so when they had when they didn't have the ball, yeah, it, it was, was a five. three. Yeah. But when they had, yeah, so. so it was a bit brave because the, yeah. the, the width that you can offer um, created a lot of um, scenarios for Robertson to to kind of yeah. capitalize on. I think Connor Bradley's. He's going through a second stage of learning. Mm, that because yeah. when I was watching, I was like, Eze is going to give you a bit of problems today. Yeah. And that, and it's not based on he can't defend and he can't compete with Eze. That the golf is it's nothing like about golf, it's about positioning. Yeah. And sometimes he's a bit too far forward, yeah. which gave Eze so much space to kind of create scenarios. And maybe they've targeted him. Maybe Glasson has targeted him. You maybe know, he's, he's no. targeted Bradley in that sense, yeah. And yeah. Elise coming back today was like or playing that yeah, was a good I he bet he's done nice little touches mm. yeah. like he held on to the ball he didn't panic <laughs> when they had three or four around him mm. and the central midfielder today I was going to say Bins I've heard Walton uh, yeah Walton is that the guy they bought from Blackburn, Blackburn. 20 mil yeah. yeah so I, I, I think I uh, rubbished them a little bit remember we were talking about <laughs> Palace's investment in the transfer yeah, window etc a... but I heard he played really well today yeah. well I saw I think there was a game before that I saw him in and I was like oh so I was trying to see if he came through the academy. I was like, oh, that's another one in the academy. Yeah, and they paid then, 20 million for him or something. Yeah, yeah, and then I saw it came through Blackburn. So that was a good bit of scouting. He's mm. 20 as well. Yeah, no, he looked very composed he, today, man. Like he was, he put himself about, like he didn't shy away from the occasion. And that's what you want from someone that yeah. young. Bit of a price tag on them as yeah. well. Yeah. well 20 is not a lot. For me, 20 is not a lot. For Palace, yeah, but for, And for coming from Blackburn, it, doesn't that make him like Palace's record side or something? <laughs> yeah. it, might, it might do. Uh, yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think it does. I'm going to check, bro. I'm going to check. Where did, oh, what's his name? Where did Ben Teke? Ben Teke was about 30s, but yeah, he'll be in the top five. No, no, you're not being cheeky. He'll be in the top five. Palace has spent that money. 
Oh, but no, you know what it was about him? What I really liked about him is that he done the basics really well. He passed it when he had to pass it. He ran with the ball when he needed to. And if he had to clear it, he would clear it. Yeah. And, and today, that's what made him look a standout figure in that midfield today. Like, yeah. I, I wouldn't say dictated the game. No, but he, he was just present. He in, was present. He competed. He, he broke do. up yeah. stuff when he had to. And he, he kind of calmed everyone down when he needed to. Um, but I wouldn't say... Is there a fifth record signing? Yeah, I told you he'd yeah, be yeah. top five. It's fifth. Yeah. Benteke, Sacco. Benteke was 31 million... This is in euros. 31 million euros. Sacco was 28 million. Uh, Mark Gay was 23 from Chelsea. That was another good signing. Uh, Czech Decore, the centre midfielder, was 22. And then he was 21 in euros. So, yeah. We fleeced so him a little bit. I think... Looking at that game today and what the, the manager looked like he's trying to do, I think it's a trick. They need to keep hold of um, Eze and Lisa. Yeah, definitely. And, and kind of, but do those two have the patience to wait around? Well, well it's a new manager, isn't it? So they might be like, let me give him a, a season. Like, you know, I'm, I don't I'm think, saying, I, I don't, they, I don't they might do, in it. Like, they might be like, oh, he's come in. So, he so, hasn't got his players. Let me see what he can work with. I just don't think that that's the decision point, right? So you're Eze or you're Lise. We sign new contracts. People, have, we, we only know the speculation, but yeah. I can imagine there's been some pretty, uh, what's the word, concrete phone calls to their relative, to the yeah, agents, yeah, blah, blah, yeah. blah. Bro, this summer, another Euros is gone. If we, uh, it is true that, you know, people like City are looking at um, Eze mm-hmm. and Arsenal... Bro, if any of those lot ring, pick up the phone and not to talk of anyone abroad, yeah, they're off, man. Because the, they got to go. Yeah, but it's a, it's a, I think Palace has got a good chance of keeping him. Yes. Just solely based on what's around. Yes, and the money people have to spend with the PSR and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. Chelsea, like, I think both, both of them will look at Chelsea and be like, mm, mm. It, it's a bit mm. not right there. Yeah. Tottenham's a good shout for them. For yes. both of them, actually. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Um, West Ham's a decent shout. I think Elise walks into that Tottenham team. Oh, all oh, day. Yeah, yeah, all day. Both of them. Both of them yeah. walk into the Tottenham yeah, team. Yeah, true. Both of them. Um, but, well, Eze doesn't play in the Madison right now. But he can play wide. And not, I'm, not, mm. I'm not having Werner. I'm not having... Yeah, yeah, I'm not having Werner. Yeah, I'm not having Werner. Yeah. Having Werner. I'm yeah, not having... Fair. Fair, fair, fair. And, and Richarlison mm. so. <laughs> yeah. Well apparently City wanted uh, Eze I don't think it's the best move for him But apparently they, they wanted him um, I mean I, 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 I wouldn't mind I of them I asked him but I um, We wouldn't do it At City hmm? I could see that working for Eze at City Yeah On yeah. the rotation mm. No on the rotation Because he can play Either side And in the middle But the thing is with Pep, I just never know Like I will think someone Is going to be alright and then they'll get there and he'll be like, no, nah, you're rubbish. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I like, oh, what's his name that they got? This, um, the central midfielder they signed from. Nunes. Uh, do, yeah, Nunes but did you always say about him? Yeah, After my game? Uh, <laughs> you know what? But, I think some of these pep comments here, sometimes they come across, I, I don't know whether I'm shooting in Bell, but do they come across a little bit harsher than they're supposed to? Is it a language? Because he said, oh, his first touch needs to be better. Bro, like, <laughs> I, I'm a pro. I've, I'm at City. And one of the best managers of all time has gone to Bolton and said, my touch needs to be better. That has to be either a really flippant comment or he's destroyed yeah, it. But we know Pep's very sarcastic, in it? So <laughs> he, might, he might not mean it like... also yeah. does that, don't he? Like, yeah. he, he kind of breaks them in slowly sometimes. Yeah, so yeah, certain yeah. individuals be like, you know what, I'm mm. not gonna you to, next season's going to be your season kind of thing. Yeah. So, so Liverpool, I mean, we've got to ask the game to cover... I guess the, the the conversation to your point earlier about coming back so many times, et cetera, is there a is there an overall conversation to be had about well look, actually, you know, your defense defensive frailties um have kind of been there for some time. You've been conceding goals, you've been conceding chances. Mm. Um because the narrative has been very much about the guy, you know, the team's powering on, how McAllister's um kind of landed the season and done well. VVD's back to his best, which I think is absolute nonsense. Um, Conor Bradley's integrated into the team, all that stuff. But actually, what we're seeing now is is not a new thing. This has been bubbling for for some time and could be you the Achilles heel to you winning this title. Yeah, potentially. And <clears throat> it could be down to a bit of complacency as well because we've pretty much got everyone back now because like Trent came on for for Bradley and Jota's back. J- yeah, Jota's back. Sabodlai's back. Allison's back. Robertson. Yeah, Robertson. So we're essentially at, at full strength now for the first time in 
kind of month. And it seemed like all the kind of industry and passion that we had when the team was a little bit disjointed, the last two games, that doesn't kind of seem that it's there, if that makes mm, sense. Yeah, yeah. It could be just like, oh yeah, we're back now. Like, let's 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 take over and get the, the show on the road. And that hasn't happened. Like, there was so much, like, McAllister was giving the ball away. Endo, Sabozlai, yeah. like, Salah, like, I can name all the players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, we're just giving the ball away, kicking the ball out of touch. And, yeah, I'm I'm just glad we won one trophy already in it because <laughs> I'd be I'd be very I'd be very disappointed. And it's the fact that if we weren't within touching distance mm. when it started going wrong, yep. I'd be all right. Like if it started going wrong maybe like a month, six weeks ago, I'd be like, well, mm. the team was patchwork, blah, yeah, blah, blah. Building. But it's we're we're still in the race. And to be fair, we still are. It's only two points. Like it's not it's not totally doom and gloom. No, no. But it's, it's City. How many games now? Six. six. Yeah. It's two points. I know it's City, but it's only two points. Yeah. We've got everyone back. So now I'm just like, we should be kicking on now. This is, I was like, yeah, bam. Yeah. Let's go, yeah. Like, we've done this before. Let's go yeah. toe to toe in it. Yeah. Like, now it's just like, we've got everyone back and it's just like, ah, oh, it just seems like it's going to peter out a little bit. And I think that would be very disappointing yeah. considering what we've gone through to get to this point. If it peters out for the last month now, that would be very disappointing. So, so the point, there's a point there, I'll, I'll make it after we talk about our week, but there's a point there where I think the main thing that both of our teams have failed to do today mm. is reduce the jeopardy. Yeah. Yeah. So all you've done now is just make every other game, every mistake, every opportunity, like Magnified. that, yeah, that yeah. percent is more important. Turn up the volume. Yeah, <laughs> where really, every game, you want to be reducing that. Yeah. So you win today, just quiet. Yeah, you, yeah. You, kind of, you kind of say Liverpool, okay, well, so you win today, we're all back to normal yeah. for a period of time. Yeah. Right, Arsenal, over to you. You need to win, right? And then if we had won today, okay, it's all back to normal yeah. as we start the weekend. Do the same again next week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, all that's Liverpool's done is now said, okay, Arsenal, you can elbow us at the game or give us more work to do, right? City, we're back on, you, you are now basically taking our position. Mm. And then Arsenal could have said, right, City, it's me and you, Liverpool, you lot, you got more work to do. Yeah. And then now Arsenal have done and said, okay, so Liverpool and us are going to share that extra work. Yeah. And we now need Man City to, slip to mess up, to slip up. Yeah. And, and like, and we can't control any of it because we've both played them. Yeah. And what I said, like, off air, if, if you guys had won today, I would have essentially conceded just because of your goal difference. Mm. And the free, so you would, you, even though it would have been three points, essentially would have been four. So we would have need you to drop, mm. like the four, like the yeah, four yeah. points, yeah, yeah, and like, that that was hot. That would be harder because you lost today, and it's only only two points to City. Like City could mess up. Yeah. Like I didn't expect Arsenal to mess up today. Mm. Man City could mess up. I think the only game they could mess up in is the Tottenham one because they don't have a good record at Tottenham, and Tottenham could pull something out of the bag today or, or for when they play. So as I say, it's not all doom and gloom. But as you said, so if I made it hard work. For yeah, it's super hard work, and I think, and I think it's going to be interesting. Just this is a few additional narratives, right? There's the Arsenal bottling it narrative, which, which doesn't really apply this season, but for the sake of the Twitterverse, it will because we were top for all of a week. Um, there's the Klopp leaving narrative. Yeah. You know, it's final season. I thought one. that that could intangibly kind of carry them through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone, yeah, yeah. Like and then obviously it. City, four in a row, they've done it before. Mm. Haaland, oh, the quite Phil Foden's turned up this season, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, blah, yeah. blah, 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 blah. Um, so now, <laughs> now, all that just changed a little bit. So can you guys rescue it for Klopp? Yeah. Can yeah. we now prove that we're not bottlers? Yeah. And actually City, you know this, you just going to, are you going to prove everyone right all along who said it was going to be you anyway? You know? Um, so yeah, I mean, moving on to the Arsenal game, you know, Arsenal nil, Aston Villa two, another home loss. Um, and Gary Neville said something interesting. He was like, oh, it's a classic away performance, kind of insinuating it was a smash and grab. I don't necessarily think it was that, actually, because they controlled the second half. Um, but you know, if we if we think about the first half, uh, and you you saw more of the game than I did, but my summation of the first half was started well. It was, I think Arteta's plan was working, 
it was we were kind of incisive getting in behind, but didn't finish chances. The most clear cut one was Trossard. Yeah, he's come yeah. across the box and he and he's you know he's he's hit the ball that at, at Emi Martinez. I mean, commentary they were going crazy about the quality of the save. I'm like, dude, he's hit, like, he's yeah, hit it's straight. Out. I mean, yeah. it's in the proximity of his body. He just spreads it and that's it. Um, don't take that chance. A couple of other half um, half Jesus. chances. Yeah. Jesus had a head at the back post. Um, there was one that rolled across the box and nobody was there. It never, never, yeah. Literally never. nobody. Havertz has done the work. He's gone in on the left channel. Great ball from Odegaard. He's cut it back. And you know it's one of them ones where it's literally rolling yeah. across the box. And everyone in the He's world is like... There and just where to slide you? in, just to tap yeah. it in. Saka's on, on getting talk on his boots on the penalty area uh, yeah. markings. I don't Markings understand why. always dropping back on the penalty spot. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... So, it, it was that. And, and, and even before... The game kicked off. I saw the lineup, and I and my immediate thought. We'll talk about this off, off mic before. Is why are you changing it now? I know Aston Villa missing some key players, but sometimes Arteta just does stuff here. And obviously, I will attribute it to him thinking he's he's clever and he's too smart, right? But we haven't played with Jesus as a nine for I don't know how long, right? He's probably deemed that doesn't work, or the other way was working with Habits as a force nine, and yeah. Then- Timing. Then Trossard starts. I know he's been playing well recently off the bench, but off the bench. Jorginho sits down as well. I'm just like, dude, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I know you're saying you got Bayern on Tuesday, but my thing, and I've always said this to my managers, if you haven't got the squad, you can't manufacture that squad depth, right? Yeah. So you either use the squad properly. So if that's the case, then the Smith Frozen that they start today, right? Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Or you pick one competition. And that is your priority. And you nail that. And you do that. You can't... If you dilly-dally in the middle, brother, we could get to Wednesday or Thursday and you shagged both of them because you didn't you didn't go full but, punch. So that was my initial thing. But tough, the players bro. have let him down. It's both. It's, but if the players didn't play, if Trossard finishes that chance and it goes a different, I'm not saying... I, I would still be like, you got away with that one because you know me and I'll tell you, we've got a you know, tumultuous relationship. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, clearly, he doesn't know the, who the hell I am. Um... But it's just little things like that that make the they make the differences. And his game management, I've complained about eternally. But for me today, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't blame Arteta for today. I don't I blame, blame him totally. I, no, I don't blame him at all. But if I you think, won, you'd have praised him, don't it? No, I just praised the squad. I think it was a squad <laughs> team. <laughs> no, but when I say I don't blame him, he's 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 put out the team, and the team in the first half done what they needed to do. Second half, he's reacted. And brought on Jorginho to calm it down. The only person... I How was, many minutes in was that, please? Around the 70-something. 70, 70 okay, so he's reacted. No, but, 30, 70 minutes into the game. 30 minutes... No, 30 but, minutes into the second half. Anyway. It's a 45 minute half. He's bided his time. He's reacted. I don't think... I think... But you know... I, and why I say the players... I'm, I'm, I'm calling out two players. The two Man City players that we signed. Because part of the reason why we signed them was based on... One, their quality. But two... Their, their experience in this situation. Yeah. And today, neither of them proved their worth. You know? But they, to push back on that slightly, I know they, you'll have the experience being around the squad, but they weren't... They weren't regular, key they, players. Yeah, they weren't key players within that, within those Manchester no. City teams. Well, so I think Jesus, if he's, Pep would say Jesus was a key player, he would say Zinchenko was a key player for... Lots of reasons, but I know what you mean. But I think from a footballer point of view, we could say Jesus was a, was a yeah. key player. It wasn't one of the main players, but it was a key player. No, but I've, I've, if we could, they, they played in, they play part of important games. Yeah. They were involved in important games mm-hmm. and made a difference. What I found with Zinchenko from last season is these games, he becomes more and more emotional. That like, he's reactive, he's a bit nervous. Well, he's turning into Bruno. Oh, bro. <laughs> Picking passes that are not there. Like there was one, mm. like I think in the second, not even I think in the second half, the ball was in the air. I'm like, right, just header it. He's trying to bring it down, but um, Bailey nearly nicks it off of him, and he just clips, just puts him does does enough to put him off. I'm like hey, you're not taking the game by the scruff of the neck. You're not saying give me the ball, let me take it to you. Today, Odegaard ran himself into the ground yeah. to come off. Like he ran himself. Yeah. Like he's done that at Bayern now, and he's done it today. Like that's two games back to back. He had to come off. I can't even say oh. Arteta, why are you taking him off? Like he literally he ran. Needs today. He needs protecting. Um, and even though I think ESR could have done better with the second goal, but the game was wrapped up. I don't think it was physical enough in that to try to put Watkins. Yeah, and off. he shouldn't have been left with Watkins one on one. 
nah, but still, uh, yeah. you still Pushing could do man. a little I bit. Don't wanna, I don't want a, a, an inside forward who's hardly played the season running down on uh, our erratic the... keeper one on one with this, you know, with someone who's in, it, 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 it should have happened. I think the Zinchenko thing is interesting because we know what he is, we know what he isn't. So again, is this the game that you play him in? I don't think it is. When I saw him on the team, I said, after last yeah. time, Tommy Yasu needs to be in yeah, that. Yeah, in yeah, that yeah, yeah. 100%. Um, and I don't care if it's Bailey, I don't care if it's Diaby. To- Both of them, man, yeah. are on. Yeah, they're yeah, serious yeah, yeah. and they're yeah. direct. Get them in. And Emery is not a joker. When it comes to tactics, when it comes to set, when it comes to all of that, he's a serious guy. He would have targeted that area. You know, and I just think that Aston Villa having certain key players not available, etc. He, to your point, I think, yes, one, we've got a game on Tuesday. Two, I can shuffle this around and still execute what I want to execute. But I can't tell you the last time we've done that with those people in those positions. Mm. And the run we've been on and how we've been playing, you know, you try and keep that as much as you can. So I think the Sinchenko thing has been figure out, figured out. And, um, you know, one of my friends said in the group earlier today, and he's right, it's like, if you're going to go, when we're playing against teams who are going to share possession with us, you don't want Sinchenko on the pitch. You don't. Because yeah. when they've got the ball and they're going to be, uh, they're going to have intent with the ball, mm-hmm. he's not the best defender. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can be targeted. He can be a weak link. For playing against teams that can see position and they're just going to sit in a low block and, and just hope well, that, yeah. you know, then yeah, Sinchenko should start. He'll play. He's a lethal weapon in those situations. Yeah. But I guess a team like Villa, he shouldn't yeah. have played. Then when Tommy Yasu comes on, I think Ben White being in the yellow, and I think he had a little niggle. So he's had to use Tommy Yasu for Ben White. But again, you know, you, you take off Zinchenko later and bring on Enketia. What is Enketia going to do against a side of that quality and that, you know, that is that what, what's he going to do in yeah. three, four, five minutes? I don't know why he does, he does this all the time. By the time you realize to bring on Swift Row, et cetera, you got to. You gotta make these changes so they can have time to take an effect and give the players a chance to to impact the game. It's it's cheating. It's like I've done something now. It's crazy that you bring on Jorginho and da da da, and it's just like, mate, what are you doing? But credit to Villa, like I said, it's they like survived the first half because yeah. yeah. it should have been probably I would say at least one 0 if not two 0 Yeah, 100%. first half. Oh yeah, um, because um, didn't think he hit the post. Watkins, no, yeah, Watkins hit the post first half, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. First, yeah. first half, Gabriel mistake again. <laughs> uh, <laughs> This one was oh, actually that, his who, fault. Who, who did he hit? Zinchenko. He, he, he 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 This one was actually his fault. The one before last week, I don't know if that was his fault, if I'm honest, um, entirely. Um, so yeah, that could have been yeah. one nil. Villa, um, who shot that shot? Tillyman oh, shot. Oh, but I'm just like, <laughs> this could have been no. so so as much as we had chances, yes, they had they had one or two chances first half. They wrote, and then they've come out and said, nope, no thanks, no more. And then he brings Leon Bailey off the bench. Hmm. And, I, and to be honest, the RB, he was, he was causing probably movement and tactical problems, but he wasn't causing much problems with the ball. Yeah. Leon yeah, Bailey came out and was doing yeah, both. He, he's, yeah. on, he, he's a coach. He's, got him, he? he, he, he's really, he's, he's on inside, it. inside, going outside. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah, confident yeah. at the moment. So fair play to, to Villa. I think Emery's problem is his team's are a little bit Jekyll and Hyde. Yeah. Like they get slapped. Was it last week? Yeah. The week before? No, it was three three with Brentford at home last week. Yeah. Last week, and then I think it the week before. It yeah, it was the week, week before. before. And then, so you're thinking, and I did mention, I said Villa and Spurs are the two games we need to really watch out for. Mm-hmm. Yeah, then then and City beat them, innit? Yeah, yeah, City beat them four uh, one. So it's, it's, you're just like, oh, what Villa's gonna turn up? Yeah. And then, you know... The good one. <laughs> well, exactly. And yeah. he's always going to be ready for Arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Because he feels he like... He's proof of point. He yeah. got, he got, and you saw he got wrong. celebration a little yeah. bit. Like, it, it wasn't OTT, but he was like, yes, yes. yes. Come, come on. Come on. He, it, if I, he did a calm celebration. If I was him, <laughs> and the way I got treated when I was at the club, the way fans... He'd be pop, like, fist oh, pumping. Oh. And... <laughs> if he had the, whole, <laughs> the Mourinho thing down, <laughs> I was about to say, if, if he had the Mourinho mentality... Bro, he would have been sprinting down that touchdown, and I wouldn't blame him. Like all the good evening and all that rubbish. Like, so yeah. Look, I think, I think Arteta got scored a little bit today. I think the other thing as well is our players, uh, like two, like the Bayern Munich game for some of our players, that was the biggest game in the career. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right, so, like people were playing the occasion, not the game. You could yeah. see they were nervous. Kivio was playing like he was 15 years old, and he was at school that day, and he's been asked to play in the evening or something. Like, yeah. yeah. 
So it just seems even when Party came on and Party played in big games. No, but he was rusty. <laughs> no, 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 no. 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 He's no, had he, enough minutes. He's had enough he minutes. He came on. I was like, he's given the ball. Yeah, 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 I was mad with him. That's, that's, why he that's why he didn't come on today. That's why he didn't come on today, bro. That's why he didn't come on today. There was one part to like, no. There was one pass here. He he he's done this a million times, right? He's collected the ball off the centre back. He's turned, you know, he's turned, got a half turn, tried to break the line with it. And he's just passed it straight. I think, <laughs> I think it was straight to Kimmich or Goretzka or someone. And I was like, what's going on? That's, that's how today, I thought it was that. Nah. nah. I, I, I thought he would have started After today. Part, yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought no, he no, would have no, started no. today. No, hold on. Unfortunately, we've got to give a little small kind of acknowledgement and respect to Havertz. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. People, no. uh, uh, he, that guy... He can look around and be like, "You lot lost this." Game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he could, the guy was tracking back. Did and you see that wrong. one? Yeah. He tracked all the way back, took it off Watkins, and then play. I was like, yeah. "Create chances, or do this movement." Should, should he have scored though? Who have us? Yeah, I don't it think was... it was clear. And... <sighs> no, I, don't I think, think it... It, in there should they have scored ranking. Trossard. Yeah, yeah. Jesus, then. then yeah. No, I'd, I'd say Trossard, then Havertz, Havertz, then, then Jesus. Yeah. Possibly, but but that, but yeah, no, he played well, and he's, he's, he's coming into his own in it. Like, like we've gone back. Like, price tags are never the the, the fault of the player in it. No, no. Like a club offers you a club offers money for you, your club accepts it. Mm. That's the price. That's like, that's nothing to do with. I've you. always yeah, said yeah. it, bro. Always. Like it is what it is. But you can understand why people use it as a stick to beat players with. Yeah, but I think you use it as a stick to beat the manager and the club with because they were happy to pay that. Yeah, so yeah. now. Yeah. When that player arrives, you've either been poor in your assessment or you're not getting the best out of him. You're not yeah. getting out of him what you've paid for him. And again, it's not my money. So people are like, oh, it's not your money. Why do you care? I care because of the things that it then stops the manager doing elsewhere. So yeah. if we spent 100 million on you, then he can't do this and he can't do can't that. It, yeah. So when Declan Rice turns up for 100 million and he does well and he didn't accept, cool, no problem. If no he one doesn't. No one mentions the yeah, price tag. Exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. But then when he doesn't, I'm like, well, actually, we Can didn't buy him and do that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, yeah. and is it, is that kind of Havertz, not a 10, not an 8 kind of performance thing he did today, that's almost like, that's what Arteta originally bought him for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this mm-hmm. playing as a 9, false 9 business. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But he's, that's where he's yeah. excelled recently. So maybe now that confidence is giving him the confidence to play was, well in that position. Definitely. I was, and I was listening to something. I was like, I never thought of it. They were saying he's very similar to Muller, Thomas Muller. That kind of free role. He's not... Physically, like, yeah. like fast, yeah. 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 but he, he he pops up in the right, at the right time. He finds the right space. He's passing soft. You're not expecting him to sprint. That's a really good point. And I was yeah. like, I never. Saw you know that. why? Because you see now, and Muller's been playing what 15 years. Yeah, I can't tell you what his position is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's his position, bro? What's his position? You, you would say a striker. But Muller. No, but on he's FIFA, like, he's a striker. He's a, he's, <laughs> but then it's like Muller <laughs> never. <laughs> his lace is not the greatest. Yeah. When he volleys it, it's yeah. his, but, but he's there or thereabouts. He's, there. he's there, and he and he performs, and he's he can be trusted. That's another thing a lot of people don't realize as well. They do realize it, but they don't like talk about it. when you when managers think about players, and yes, there's execution and stats mm. and all that. There's also a level of trust as well. Yeah. You know, yeah, I can trust that. You know, In more often game. than not. You will do what I asked you to do. You will perform at the right level. You'll be consistent with your running. You'll support you. Like, there's an element of trust in there as well. And yeah. Ula has just garnered that trust yeah. at whatever level all he managers. plays at. Yeah, yeah, all managers. Yeah. All managers. I think, like, when you take agenda aside, and we know many people online don't do this, play, players play for a club because the manager wants them there, innit? Like, that's it. <laughs> like, we, we as fans, we can rant and rave and say they don't do X, Y, Z, but we're, we're not there seeing them day in, day out. And that's why when it comes to certain players, you always see me go to the manager first. I've not said anything yeah. about Sinjeko today because he's what he is. He's the player yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yes, when he does individual errors and stuff, I will I will say something about him. But actually, if it's just structurally, that's not the game for him. Mm. Then I'll look at the guy who picked him. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So sometimes you got to do that. But yeah, fair play. Havertz did his job, worked hard today, but Villa, well done. Yeah. Ollie Watkins. I'm not ready to apologize yet, but you're having a good season. He's, he's, he's two in a row season. now. He's won away from that three seasons in a row. Double figures. Three seasons now. I think he's eight double digits three seasons in a row. God damn. He's done well, man. Yeah. Oh, my since, baby's good. Yeah, since he's gone they to me. Right, well. yeah, all right. And yeah, one goal behind Harlan. So yep. he could be on for the golden boot. Right. Jeez. Imagine saying so, that when you're retired. <laughs> all right. So then, then now then, if you're Ollie Watkins, 
What's the next step? Because this is where, for, all right, it's cool. You're good. Like you said, three seasons in the Prem, double figures. What's next? Because how old is he? He's 27 or something? I'm going to check. But but, so what's next? Okay, so what's next? But if you look at Villa, yeah. the only teams above them are the title chasers. Liverpool don't need him because we, we've got too many attackers. 28. We, he, he would do well. He would do well at Liverpool oh, yeah? because yeah. He, he's a finisher and yeah. that's what we've... But just in terms of probability, that won't happen. Man City won't happen. Ooh, wait, why wouldn't Liverpool happen? Salah's leaving. Okay, okay let's say... Gapo's not levels. Let's say the new manager comes in and then says, right, one or two, these these fours has to go. Yep. Then, but if the new manager comes in yep. and sticks with them, mm. then yeah, you're not yeah. you're not gonna get a, a six attacker. Yeah, like yeah, that's yeah. why I said it's not gonna happen. Not yeah. not in terms of his ability. Because mm. I like, wait, I was watching Newcastle on on Saturday. I was like, if we had this spreader up top, <laughs> league would be done. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm, up, yeah I'm coming up to Newcastle a bit. I'm coming up like, Newcastle and a I didn't bit. even say his name. You knew who I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, straight. Um, straight. So in terms of Watkins. And I'm not saying that does, because... Does of... he have ambition to go abroad? If he did, I think... Many teams. A team abroad, like a top team, a Champions League team abroad mm, mm. would take him. If he doesn't, I would say Arsenal mm. for a step up. No, nah, I don't Because I don't think... I don't see any other team as a step up for him in the Premier League. Tot- Tottenham? But that's, it's not really a step up though, it is. is it? It is a step it is. up. It's a step up in terms of... The expectations. I was going to say, bro. It's it, like, no disrespect to Villa, but... And Villa have won more in their history than Tottenham. But right now, let's be honest, Villa are overachieving, mm-hmm. you would argue, right? They're, they're, they are, their plan is going well. They've been on the ascendancy. They sign but well. they're overachieving, right? Like, we, 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 are, we were, we're two and a half seasons away from them but battling yeah, relegation. Okay, you yeah? say that. Yeah. But if you look at... So, like, compare it to, to Newcastle, yeah? Yeah. Last season, Newcastle done really well. Yep. This season, they've, they've tailed off. Yep. Again, with Emery, I think only the three teams above him mm. since he's been there have mm. been better than him. So you can say he's overachieving, but he's showing a trajectory. No, no, he's I'm, good. I'm not saying a like for like for Arsenal, yeah, but yeah, you yeah. can see the no, upwards, I, upwards step. I agree. I, no, I fully agree. But I guess what I'm, the, I guess the I'm making is in terms of spend, wage, all that kind of stuff, they're overachieving. If you look at someone like Spurs and the direction they want to go in, the type of players they buy, etc., there's, there's probably an argument that even if Aston Villa finish ahead of Spurs for three or four seasons in a row, the expectation at Spurs is bigger. Spurs have, in the last 10 years, they've been in the Champions League how many times? When was the last time Villa was in the Champions League? Yeah. Yeah, no, they haven't been. Just what I'm saying. So, so historically, and even of recent history, in our kind of time, Spurs is a bigger club than Villa, right? Yeah. But does that come down to kind of like the cyclical nature of football? Because remember... How long's the cycle? <laughs> in, in the, That's what I'm saying. Because no, in this was, cycle, Villa haven't been there. Yeah, I know. But I was saying like, if you go back to like the historical, like it was a top four, innit? And yeah. then it went to a top five, yeah. a top six, yeah. to include like Tottenham and yeah, yeah. whoever And my point is Villa have never been in that conference. Yeah, but I was saying like, it could be them for to, it could be time for them to get there and, and stay, stay there. there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah so, I just don't see that happening. That's what I'm mm. I, I, I'm, I'm, not sure. I'm slightly gonna disagree. Like we we've seen how well he done last season. Yep. Like when he came in, they were in pretty much turmoil, mm. and he he steadied the ship. Yep. Got them to got them to Europe. No one thought that would happen when he came in mm. in what October or when, whenever it was. And this year, you can see he's he spent wisely in the in the transfer window. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm still a bit you know about Tielemans. Yep. Um, he he's had injuries. So like his his best centre back has, has been injured center? for who who um, not Mings what's his name oh, the guy oh no no Costa 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 yeah he had, he had Costa he didn't have Costa for a while um and I yeah I I think they will be in the mix they are all there about, no, no, I, they're all there about, they're all there about no no I telling him for that full fifth next season depending on how they do and how they cope with Champions mm. League if they get it right. I was about to come to that yeah. because that's when that's when it usually hurts people and even resource wise as well. I just think uh, I think going from Villa to Tottenham is still a progressive move in many ways. He'll get paid more there, like yeah, expectations yeah. higher there. And if we look over the next 
two or three years, Villa can probably, I think Spurs are willing to spend more and are more used to juggling Champions League. They're recent Champions League finalists. <laughs> That's what I was saying. Spurs, yeah, Spurs I it, and so, so I think Villa are on that way, but it's, but it's if you really can the hard. As well, like Emery knows how to juggle European competition. Granted, mm-hmm. he, he, he has to manage the but he needs the he needs the spend to do it. So, for example, the conversation we're having now: if he loses Watkins, what then? They're not going to go out and the likelihood of you going out and buying someone who's going to give you Watkins output for the budget that they want to spend mm. is low. Yeah, it is. So you almost become a victim of your own success. Now they they could keep him. He's, I think he signed a new contract last season or not yeah. too long ago. Yeah. So so I'm not saying that they're not doing well, and I actually like the way they're doing it. Their owners are they just get on with their business quietly, yeah. etc. But even I think even PSR is chopping them now because they need to sell. There was talks about Ramsey leaving, um, etc. Because the whole sustainability stuff is coming to to bite them. So I think when the dust settles, in it will all wash through in the next couple of years, it will be the same big four. Yeah. Plus um, Spurs, etc. And, you know, Man United sort out their back office. They've got the money to accelerate yeah. that process. Like, <laughs> yeah. They sort out those, those guys come in this summer. Don't be surprised if Man United are a relatively decent team again in two seasons. Yeah. Like, it, yeah, you it, can it, see, so yeah. If they get all that, the yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I don't reason to ask is, we've seen this before. Guy has a good patch. Two yeah. or three seasons. Doesn't necessarily make a, the move he needs to make to push him or to get that final big contract. You know, whether it's financial or career. Then that team's trajectory, mm. someone else now rises up and starts to do stuff, and it's like, bro, you should have moved. So that's yeah. why I asked the question: yeah. If you're only Watkins, you stay at Villa, get a nice new contract because you've earned it, yeah, and then just write it out. Or actually, do you say to your agent, "Look, bro, I want to be playing for England regularly. I want to be playing Champions League regularly. Let's have a conversation in the UK or elsewhere who will have me." Yeah. Or do you actually just say, "You know what? Looking around, I think he stays. I think if if they qualify for the Champions League, oh no, definitely he stays. Yeah, yeah. he he will stay." Depend, I, I don't think depend, he's leaving. I'm just on, saying, yeah, if you're yeah, him, know, what do you like? Depending on how, on how well he does in the Champions League, I think that would be a determining factor about whether that's the... Then he's 29. The next step. Well, yeah, you can 29, mm. get like two, three years out of him. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Interesting one. Yeah. Remember, interesting. There's, not, there's not many strikers about and there's not many strikers that, coming through. Those so attributes. as long as you're putting numbers up, yeah. you're, you're kind of in a all right position. And who costs you more? Tony or Watkins? Watkins. You think so? Yeah, just based on the numbers. No, but like contract wise and all of that. So what do you think what it can cost for you now? 80 million? It's not a nine figure, it's not a nine figure situation. Mm. I think they cost nah. you about the same, which is crazy to me, but I think they cost you about the same. Because you're right, on the numbers, yeah. what can I think I think Tony yeah. should be it's at least 10 less, just off the bat for numbers. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. But All then right, Watkins cool. doesn't play well for England, so you're like, mm. well, has he had a real chance for you? Uh, but you've got to take, Harry's you've got there, to take the sniff. You've got to take the sniff that nah, you get, innit? Harry's yeah. there, innit? All right, cool. Well, look, well done to Villa. I'll take a fix up, man. Um, Newcastle. Uh, listen, I did not see that. Result I didn't coming. see this coming. Jeez. <laughs> Yo, that, okay, to be fair, the, the, the scoreline looks crazy. Um, but you've got two individual errors in there. Two, right? You've got two individual errors in there. And in any game in this league, individual, uh, you know, no disrespect to oh, yeah. anyone, but once you're playing a team above a certain level, individual errors, Mistake. You, bro, you you've just, yeah. you're chopping off your arm and your yeah, leg. Yeah, yeah. It's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. But Isak, bro. I mean, do you, how do they keep him? I, like, seriously. Because it, 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 it's not just Prem teams either. No. Nah. Yeah, it's you, the whole of Europe. It's the whole of Europe. And to your point, not many strikers around. He's played in Spain. I mean, the guy, you know, he's got the height, he's got the speed, he's got... He, uh, he can he's good with the ball at his feet, he can finish, he can, he can dribble. Wide, he can play number nine. Yeah. He's, he's techy, isn't it? And like, you saw it from when he first came. Like, the last season, when he scored, mm. he scored at Anfield. What about the early, Everton early. Um, assist? assist. Oh, Everton Ooh, assist. Bro. Jeez. And you know what? There's a point Ben has, has made for years. I think you made it. The first time I heard you make it was with Madison when he went to Leicester. Mm. And it's like, there's players like this where I'm just saying... Take it to gamble. Yeah. Why? Because there was rumours that he was going to come to Arsenal, but then he, he didn't fly in on time or whatever, and they wanted 50 million. It was too much. Boy. 
What are you going to pay now? <laughs> Look where we are now. So now you now have to go and pay Newcastle a lot of money. Yeah. People Newcastle, are Newcastle paid 65, didn't they? So yeah. 60, 65 for him. So you're going to have to pay near to 100 million. I mean, I think 80, 85 million, yeah. they will look at you. Yeah. But, like, but some of our friends feel, feel strongly that um, it will take nine figures. It will literally take 100 million. And I don't know, man, they should pay it still. I'm not going to lie. They should do it. They should do it. Bro. In, in a better team, so like you got to look at who he's playing with, innit? Yeah. And Andy Gordon had a great season. You can see he's he's a baller. Uh, Gamera's. I'm not. I'm half he, and half He's a good player, it. but what he what Gamera's gives you, and you saw that yesterday. Was it Saturday? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Is that first time pass? Like he can see you making the run. Yeah. And the ball out to you is good. He done to Gordon a couple of times, mm. and he played in Isak for the um, second goal. Yeah. Like he plays that ball. And it's good. But he's not... Isak's not playing with any techie ballers. Like, te- like techie ballers. Like, Oder- like, if he had Odegaard feeding him... I yeah, I think the chances that he would enjoy a better team yeah. or a more creative team, you, you do some simple maths and say, like, he'd be crazy. Yeah, he, he's doing a lot of running at Newcastle. Yeah. A, lot of, a lot of chasing, mm. etc. Go to a, a a team that plays football, like Arsenal. That's that's eliminated. You still have the option, but it's but, like yeah. But then, do you yeah. think he faces an, an like even though I'm not disagreeing, do you think he faces another issue, which is facing low blocks? Like at Newcastle, he doesn't face that as much because of the the, the kind of the, the profile of the players that they have. Mm. So often teams will say, "All right, we don't have to we don't have to worry about that so much." We're going to play a bit further forward, 10 yards forward, further forward. So then that gives him the space where then we have to see a different... Don't get me wrong, I think he could step up. But you need to add a different dimension it's, to it's his it's game. It's got to be a different dimension, isn't it? Because you're facing a low block now. Yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a good well, theory. So but... I, think, I think the way I like to... And that's, that's true. He's going to adapt. But I think if Isak left Newcastle and went to a Liverpool or a City or Arsenal or, or any of the... Like I say, forget just the UK, any of the teams that create mm. better... You also look at some of their players now. So I look at some of the chances that I would lament in our team. Mm. So even if you just take away stats, just I test and say, there are chances here that I feel like a more accomplished finisher would take. Yeah. Probably you take him, bro. Because yeah, yeah, he'd be yeah. in that position. Like some of the chances um, Jesus has missed. Like, Nunes. Yeah, Nunes. Yeah. Like some of these, you just <laughs> think, if then. he was finished that, you're, you're laughing. Yeah. Because even if, if we take Arsenal, I would say Martinelli, he... He has poor decision making, etc. But when it comes to taking chances, he takes the chances you yeah, expect yeah, yeah. him to take. And he scores some of the ones that you didn't even know were chances, right? Yeah. Jesus is frustrated because he will score the goals that are harder to score, but you feel like the chances he should be scoring as a striker, he misses. Yeah. Kind of the same with Nunes. Um, so I, I just think I think that game allowed him to kind of showcase, especially in those two goals, he showcased all the the real key points yeah. of his ability. Yeah. You know, um, twisting Van der Ben inside out. Yeah. And the finish. Latching onto the, and running through again and the finish. Um, and, and yeah, I, I think Newcastle punished him for those two mistakes, but Gordon had a good game as well. I, I think he's definitely on the plane for England. You think so? Yeah. Yeah, he should have should, Yeah, he should be. He should be, yeah, yeah. be playing ahead it, it, of Rashford, bro. Yeah. So, and then when oh, you look yeah, at all the wide players... The only person that will hold him out because they're mm. going to shoehorn him in is Foden. But in terms of making Foden play left, mm. forward. Um, but other than that, Anthony Gordon, he was up and down. He yeah. was physical. He's like, he, and yeah, he's been doing that all season. Like, he's quite strong, isn't it? Yeah. Like he can hold a, he can hold he's a not player afraid up. of the battle, basically. Yeah. 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 And I think, I think, I, and I was, after I was watching the game, I was thinking, could he have had more goals if he was just stuck in that one position in terms of the wide, um, um, left, the wide left forward? Because they had to play him up front a couple of games, yeah, a few games. Because of injuries, Because yeah. the injuries, they had to play him as a 10. Like, they, they've moved him all over and he's just took it on board and done the job. I think when I watched that game, um, Newcastle, Eddie Howe got to give him credit. He came up with a game plan. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. the game plan was, we're going to force them wide and we're going to hit the front as quick as possible. There's no, we're going to be very direct. There was an overplaying in the middle. They weren't trying to play themselves out of a trap or yeah. patterns of play. They said, all right, we'll win it. As soon as we can get it up to Isak or Gordon or on Barnes, 
Boom. Yeah, and when you play the high line like Tottenham always do, it's he just like it's that second goal. They were like flagging offside, but he was in his own half. <laughs> yeah. <Bro>. It's like <laughs> like key stage one curved yeah, run. Yeah. Like he literally just curved his run <laughs> and then yeah. there, let's have yeah, a foot race. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I thought he was gonna finish it on his left, like yeah, go across. Says, yeah. But he just opened up his body, he just slotted it with his right, and like tidy finish. And yeah, they just they just exploited Tottenham. Yeah. And like we 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 said it a couple of weeks ago, Vince, like the inconsistency of the, of the teams below the top three mm. will give you games like this. Mm. Like we said, no one expected, you're not going to say you didn't expect Newcastle to win, Wait, but, but not, not convincingly. Yeah. 4 0. 4 0. Like, and then like Son getting hooked, yeah. <laughs> early oh. doors, like that really happens. And Van der Fitt, like, so again, like there's this whole kind of online opinion of players in it. Yeah. And like, Van der Ven hasn't had many bad games no. this season. No, bro. He's but been good. Because he had an absolute stinker yesterday, everyone's like, oh, he's not that good. Oh, oh, this is that. what I mean. I blah, blah, blah. I like, the guy is good. The guy is good. He's... he's he just he's, had a bad game. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think... And his teammates didn't help him. No one talks about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is it. Teammates didn't help Romero. him. And what, what you find a lot now, we spoke about the entitlement, Mm. Every fan wants a 10 out of 10 performance Every, every week oh From every player <laughs> oh, oh. And if they don't get it They're like well, well, Why not? What's, what's happening? You're a professional yeah, yeah. It's like That's not how life works yeah, <laughs> no. Like you have a bad day at the office Like you in your menial Monday to Friday job Has, have, has a stinker Bro, sometimes And you're a professional <laughs> Playing against other people Of your level That's the whole point <laughs> We're all of the yeah. same requisite level you know, and anything could be happening. But, bro, he slipped, number one. Yeah. The first one. It, it looks great. It's fantastic. Ben yeah, this is it. it, yeah. it you know, for the images, it looks great. The guy slipped, yeah. right? He, 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 he lost he's his like, He's done a fantastic piece of skill. He lost his footing. Cool. The second one, it didn't originate with him. And again, the guy's changed direction. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not a Van der Ven issue um, in that respect. But, you know, we need to be talking about who played the... The, the stupid pass from the left. Yeah, Romero. Yeah, exactly. Captain Angry. Yeah. Bro. Like, it, it, it's just narrative. I think, and I was looking at Tottenham and I was saying, and you know, ultimately Tottenham's problem right now is quality. Yeah. Because they've got the system. Mm. Yeah. It's ultimately quality and, and in-game management. Mm. You know, some of them say, oh, why am I doing that? Let me hold back a little bit. Or, But is it hard, Ben? When, when you've got such a... So, for example, um... You know, you hear conversations with ex-pros say stuff like, oh, you know, the manager told you stuff, but where's the leader that kind of says, mm. Beans, for five minutes, we're going to do this. And I'm like, yeah, that's all well and good to say <laughs> in the studio. Yeah. And now, Pesto Colby has set them up a very specific way. And in his mind, if you execute that system well and you do the basics through the board, you'll be you fine. Mean. So there's no option for Van der Ven to tell Romero, no, oh, bro. Back. For the next 10 minutes, we're going to drop 15 yards. Yeah. Bro, Pascal will be like, what are you doing? Yeah. He just stop yeah. everything else and all of that. So, I just... But I don't think... And when I mean... I think it's more... I'm going to change it from in-game management. Um, in-game management. I'm going to change it to football IQ. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I'm going to change it to. And that's the... The football IQ is not the next level that mm. he needs it to be mm-hmm. to execute the formation and the tactics mm-hmm. to... And that's what you... That's what you've seen with Arteta. That's what you're seeing And with, also, the amount of players within his squad that are good enough to do what he wants often enough, consistently yeah. enough, yeah. there's not that many of them, no. right? So he's also in very, very early stage of, you know, there's there's the Brian Gills, the Hoybergs, all the, they need to go. Like, yeah. he needs to, he needs yeah, to get more, to to yeah, 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 yeah. He's got to get more Bentacles in and all these people. He needs to be able to, so when you're having that off there or dip in form, you've got someone else who can come in yeah. and do that. And that's just not where they are right now. Yeah. Um, and it could have just been an off day, but... The point you make about Werner and the quality, etc. You know, there was that chance Werner had at the back post to yeah. volley. Wasn't the greatest. The ball was a bit behind him. But I just, you know, that's the kind of chance where you got to hit target. Yeah. You, yeah. you know, you got to make more of it. You got to step up. And... Um, no, if I'm him, I'm arguing, all right, that was one chance. Name me the others that were created. Mm-hmm. So, 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 yeah, I think it was a bad day at the office. I think when you get those kind of sucker punches as well in the game, mm. people don't need to not underestimate psychologically what that does. Yeah, to the and team. They, were, they were very quick. The two, the first two goals boom, boom. happened with, within <laughs> minutes of each other, yeah. and like your head, your head's gone in it. Like you make one mistake, you're like, ah, oh. you make two mistakes in two minutes. You just want the ground to swallow up, bro. Yeah. And, and like take you in it, like. And then you think halftime, all right, 
No, half time come out within ten minutes. They've scored. Isaac like scored. They scored that second goal, and then Shaw scores from a from a set piece. So it's like every basic element of the game just did it work. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yesterday, and you haven't got Harry Kane to dig you out of a hole anymore. Yeah. yeah. But I think uh, Andrew will be a bit upset just considering how many injuries Newcastle had. Like Murphy was playing right back. Yeah. And that guy Kraft was started, who like in his last two games have been. Pretty poor. Yeah, yeah, he's had a You think madness. like Tottenham would have thought, right, this is a good opportunity mm, yeah. to kind of put pressure on Aston Villa, get a bit of a gap over Man United. And yeah, they just kind of fought it a little bit. I mean, even um, who's Anderson? Is he a youth player? Like, yeah, but he yeah. played quite a few games though. Like, he's <laughs> I saw him chopping up. guys in the box. And, <laughs> like, I was like, no. <laughs> you, know, you know, like that. Like, he, the, the game has just given him confidence yeah, yeah, to just. Yeah. I, said, I said, wow. Yeah, look, great, good win for them. But again, to your point, the inconsistency, you you start to think, well, actually, if you could have pulled off more of those type of 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 performances, you're you're shaping up differently. So now, if we look at the top six, um, Villa are fourth. And that win today changed the game for them, really, because you know Tottenham. They're three points ahead of Tottenham. Tottenham have got one game in hand, mm. um, but their goal difference is better. Newcastle are 10 points behind Tottenham. Mm. You know, so they're in six. They're totally out of the race. Yeah. But you, if we look through Newcastle's results and some of their howlers, we can probably pick out those, yeah. those 10 points that they should be making. And that's where the, the, you know, second season syndrome and all that comes in. Yeah. Uh, so, yes, yeah, a straight shootout between Villa and 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 Spurs. Um, Is six that bad for Newcastle this season, though? No, yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> If it, they finish it, yeah. It is. And the reason being is, is because of what they've done last season. No, I, but I called it because I said yeah. they're, I know, not, I they're not handling it's league and Champions League. 100%. And I knew yeah. that as well. But yeah. f- for a lot of people, it is a bad season because mm-hmm. of the drop-off. And and it's the type of um, performances that has been this season. That's that true. Yeah. That's been the issue. So it's not. it's one thing dropping off, but then it's how you've dropped off. And, and and you can say, all right, it's just been an off-season, but there's still something going really good. Right now, you're looking at it, you're saying, what's going on with Trippier? What's going on with, yeah. you, you know, know, what's going on with the centre-backs at the moment there? There's 11 on points for Man United. So, yeah, you know, West, between West Ham, Newcastle, Man United, 6th, 7th and 8th, that's the battle there. Whoever, that's the shuffle back. Whoever mm. is most consistent there, whoever doesn't, because, yeah, Newcastle, Man United, same point, same games. West Ham have played a game more, but they're two points behind. But yeah, they missed yeah. a trick today. Yeah, yeah. exactly, mm-hmm. exactly that. Um, so I think I think you're right. Two things can be true, right? Yeah. My favorite saying. So six on the face of it, not the worst. Everyone yeah. said last year was was ahead of plan. I don't think he loses his job because they finished sixth, but I do think that um, when they look at the nature of some of those um, losses and some of those yeah. results, it might be like hmm. And then also. The other thing that I was thinking about the other day is if, um, uh, well, Ashworth is going to Newcastle, he's going to Man United, right? Yes. He's on guarding leave already. So again, you know, the director of football is his boss, right? So you, yeah. you, if they have a director of football that comes in and, is, you know, advises the board, look, Eddie's done great, but we need to move on. Yeah. yeah. That's another thing he's got to contend with, right? He's lost an ally of sorts. Um, and if you look at it, uh, I don't know if this is harsh, but when you look at some of the players you want to sign, you want to take it to the next level, do you try and go out there and get a manager who's used to handling that level, yeah. that caliber of player? Or actually, do you trust Eddie to kind of get on that learning curve? You know, how would you use said player? How would you use yeah. and do all of that? Possibly, right? Um, but I I don't see him leaving unless the new DOF says, let's pull the button, let's pull the lever now. If I was them, yeah, you know me, I'd get rid of him. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> not not in the military, not because it's no, been but good it's enough. Just the <laughs> let's level. just take the next step. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I'm I'm out of it. Like let, let's get some of this a bit more progressive. Da, 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 da. Um, and also is part of the picture of attracting different type of players. Yeah. Um, it's the the whole Bournemouth thing. Everyone killed me for it, but look at them now. Mm. Yeah, you so, think Chelsea might sneak into that top six conversation? Nah, nah bro. Oh, they're six points behind with Mm-mm. two games in hand. I'm just saying, innit? If it happens, they're happened, so inconsistent. It'd be they're hilarious so, if they yeah. finished above Man United. Hilarious. I mean, hold on. Let me look at their fixtures first because we want to start chatting. I mean, if we look at their fixtures. Whatever's not happening, man. Like they still they got, got Everton tomorrow. 
And this is the thing. Normally with teams, I'll be like, X, Y, Z. I just don't know. <laughs> yeah. This league is a madness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, just, yeah. it's ridiculous. Know. They got Everton tomorrow. Then they got Arsenal away. Then they got Villa away. Oh, then yeah. They're not doing it. <laughs> nah, stop, nah. They got Spurs at home. Ah, Spurs as well. Nah. They got West Ham at home, yeah. and then London, they got London, Forest, yeah. Brighton. A lot of emotive games here. Nah, I can't. Mm. So, if they did, if they managed it with those fixtures, I'd be very surprised. Bro, like, they got City in the FA Cup semi-finals. We don't know what that damage is going to do to them because they're not beating City. No. I'm gonna say that actually regarding Arsenal and Liverpool. Man City are playing in the FA Cup semi-finals next weekend. He was just playing his bench, bro. They, they got the weekend off when we're both playing. So we've got... Even a, better for them. Yeah, yeah. say so we've got to put the pressure on them. And that's the other <laughs> dynamic this weekend. You know, they played first, then they chill, yeah. and then everyone else has got to play and do their results. I, I don't care what anyone says, even if it's just 1%, that has an effect, right? Yeah, yeah. What are they playing in? Yeah, we said you want to play first. Yeah, yeah. so then next week, yeah. them not aren't even playing. And it's like, so what? Do you, you not do your best? And if you don't, then even better. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. Exactly that. Exactly that. All right, let me look through the um, uh, other results from uh, from yesterday or from around the Premier League. Um, we talked about Palace. We, Brentford, how is Sheffield United <laughs> not like already technically ready? Like, I'm surprised it's taking this long. I thought my first they'll be gone by now. I'll just come in and secured it. Wow, it's, just, <laughs> it's just, it's just crazy. They were unfortunate though. Like the third, I don't know if you saw the Brentford's first goal. Can't remember who it was. Went to shoot, shanked it, and it just hit a Sheffield United player's foot and rolled into the bottom corner. Yeah. Like oh, it was, it was pretty unfortunate. Steaming, pretty unfortunate. Absolutely steaming. Brentford needed that win. They, need, they were not in any danger, but now they're because they're five points. Ahead of Everton, but Everton have got two games in hand on them. Oh. So, you know, they're, they are not, well, Everton are, are Everton going to take advantage. Like, who, who knows? Um, Forest, vital point against Wolves yesterday. Wolves will be kicking themselves, I think. <sighs> the, yeah. the goals, to be fair, Cunha's first goal, because Wolves went 1 0 up, Cunha's first goal was very good. Yeah. Like, had it on the left, a bit of jinky majinky. Yeah, he's all right, it, you know. Yeah. Cunha. He's, he's. Yeah. And then my boy Gibbs White yeah. got equalized. I thought, he needs he needs to go, man. Like go to where? Who needs he, it? He, he could play for one of the top six easy. Right. Like you, if you see how Johnson's doing. Well, what you say? He could play for one of the top six easy. Easy. Okay, name me one of the top six teams now quickly. Tottenham. Okay, who top, does he play instead of? Uh, no, I mean in the in, in the end Bentico. squad. Like oh, I'm not saying oh, oh, oh. he plays ahead of Bentico. No, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, they yeah. do different jobs, bro. He 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 the top play six Bentico squad. <laughs> He's a but top six you, squad man. Like, he, if you look at Johnson and kind of how well Johnson's doing at Tottenham to a degree. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> that, was yeah that was neat. Yeah, that was Yeah, Gibbs, Gibbs White has got the quality to be in the squad. Yeah, he, squad he should not I, be at Nottingham Forest, man. I'm not doubting. Yeah, you he are. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not doubting that he shouldn't be at first. I agree. Or West Ham. But the top six thing? Nah. He, could he needs be at to West go Ham. to West Ham first or something. He could be West Ham. Yeah, yeah. But he could be at Tottenham. Mm, you know, as a starter, you see, we players like him. For me, when they're making these moves now, they need to go to a team that needs them and they're starting every week. If he goes to yeah. West Ham, he starts every week. Mm, true. He starts every week. He needs to go for there. For me, though, he starts at a Bento car. He, d- he doesn't Bento. for anybody else. <laughs> Bento. I don't read that yeah. guy. Give, give, give him action. And no, then... I think Bento goes. Like, so what I, does he do? I, I, Anyway, that's another story. You don't do nothing. Yeah, like, guess what? He ain't done nothing wrong, man. He just there, isn't it? Like, he, he doing well. Um, no, I, I, I like him still. I, I, he plays, he what? does his job. He does his job. He's and and I'll tell you what, if you've seen Bull, yeah, people that do their job, more often than they don't, that alone now is a thing. Yeah. Because there's too many players that don't do their job often enough at the level we play enough. And he's but, in a bad team as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gives why? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, yeah. So Gives why is good. And, but I just think. I just think, yeah, he's playing well in that. But, bro, top six is a different story. So, yeah, West Ham. Who else? See? That's what I'm saying. Who's used to buy him? Chelsea. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm having, I'm, I'm having him over Conor Gallagher. Look, yeah, but they're not buying him. No, they're not. But they're buying him. Like, that, so, that, we've, like, said one, we've said West Ham. Who else? Yeah, I said Chelsea. Like, Okay, Chelsea. Oh, are you talking about like feasible? Yeah. Because oh, okay. he's got to live this summer, yeah, right? Newcastle. Ooh, Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle. Yeah, Newcastle. Yeah, that's a good shout. Does buying Gibbs White Elevate. progress you, though? Yeah. Does he get it, you back I to Champions it, League? Because that's got to be next for them, right? How yeah. do we get back to what we've done? Does Gibbs White 
get you. I mean, is he part yeah, of a plan? Because I, I think their issue is the, the squad depth. Yeah, yeah. Long staff can hold the bench. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I think he's he's a good player, man. Like, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Man United yeah. could do with him now. Man United could do with him. Better than Sebastian. <laughs> no, he's better. He's better. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, yeah, back to the game. Yeah, yeah Danilo uh, put them two one up, and then for the for the goal that. For Wolves' equaliser, the keeper just came out and flapped it. Like, yeah. didn't get a connection on it. And, yeah, Cunha popped out of his, his second, second yeah. goal, man. It's like, slightly annoying. And, like, once they were controlling the game. Like, I was watching it. And, um, yeah, Nuno will be a bit disappointed. 100% get all the because, it, yeah, it's, it's... He did look like he was. It's, them and, it's them and Luton. They're yeah. just, you know, Luton got 25 points. Forest have got 26, excuse me, on the same amount of goals. Again, Jeopardy. Because if all else remains equal, you're, mm. you're gone. So it's 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 all a bit crazy. If I look at their if I look at their fixtures, they got Everton next. That's a six point mm-hmm. Uh then they got City away. <laughs> then they got you uh Sheffield United away. Mm-hmm. Then they got Chelsea at home and then Burnley away. So you could look at it as a good or a bad thing, but I actually think them they're playing one, two, three, three of the teams around them. Yeah, as part of their last the final five games. Yeah, that's a good thing. So that's good. a lot yeah. of it's more in your control than than most people. Yeah. Own destiny, isn't it? You know, Luton. See Barclays go yesterday. Yeah, I'm not gonna oh. lie. That 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 <laughs> step over had some age on it though. God damn. Oh, yeah. Um, that step over has some age on you it. You know bro. what? I tuned in for a little hate watch. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's see what. And then the goal was so comical, so early. I just turned it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, they, like they've got nothing for me in it. Like, hit the guy in the face. <laughs> so you, you, I, I, I did, but I was like, oh yeah. I was surprised it was one 0 for so long. I was like, nah, it's crazy. Yeah. So yeah, they've got Brentford. They got Brentford at home next. Then they got Wolves away. Then they got Everton at home. Oh, West Ham away, and then Fulham at home. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think Forest have got the best running yeah. out of the two of them. Because you're playing more of the people around you. You can take the points so that you can directly affect what's going on around you. I think, you see with Luton, they can score goals. Yeah. That's yeah. that's what they got over the, the other teams mm-hmm. in the relegation. Yeah. I, I think, think they've only failed to well. score once, haven't they? That was against Arsenal. Who? Luton. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think with Luton as well, if they do go down, I think they're quite well equipped to, to come back up. Like, they might lose Barkley and Townsend. Mm. Mm. I think they're the only two kind of Prem. big money yeah. Prem players where you look at Nottingham Forest, if they were to go down, they've got like, man like Origi, Gibbs White, Danilo, um, Luther. They've got that World Cup guy there as well. Um, who the goalkeeper? No, no. The guy who scored the winning penalty in the World Cup is that, is that Forest. Oh, yeah. I can't remember his name. Yeah, yeah. So they've got, they've got like big players who might not want to be in the championship, mm. innit? So I think mm. they need to stay up because I don't think they they might not come straight back up if they if they go down Nottingham Forest. So. Yeah. So yeah, not not a a, a great result uh, for them. Who else was there? Bournemouth to Manchester United mm. to <sighs> the team just so bummy, man. <laughs> they, they, like they're bummy. Like it just it just frustrates me, man. <sighs> Bro, I just it's, you know what? It seems like so long ago. You know, I don't know if you guys did. But I think we all did this. You you look at uh, fixtures, you look at matches that are ongoing here. Yeah? And because of the teams that are playing, you just have the level of expectation. Yeah. But now I open my phone and I see Boomer for my United New, and I'm like, eh. yeah, yeah, like, yeah, don't win it. Yeah. Yeah. Just uh, I, I, even the goal he scored, like people were saying it was this, it was that. Bro, he's basically okay. Again, defender slipped. Yeah. She don't know how to do better with that first goal, bro. Oh, well, my some, agenda. You know my the reason why I say no. Because he had the whole goal to pick from. Yeah. That's why I say no. So, it, it, some I heard a lot of people saying, you should do better. But when I looked at that chance, I was like, the guy's got the whole goal to pick from. Left, right. Does does he does does he score that? Does that score against Allison or Edison? Possibly. I think I, he took it early. Like it was, like he, he, he was yeah, like... I saw it and I thought... It was a bit of a snap It was a bit like, trading ground, like... Exactly. Exactly what you call. Cause I think you know when they do the um, shooting practice when you see the videos of the shoot and it, there's no defenders around. Nine times out of ten, the keeper gets beaten. Yeah, yeah. Like, it was just one of them. I don't think Anana could have yeah, done anything. 
And then, of course, the pantomime villain, Mr. Fernandez, <laughs> he equalizes. <laughs> Good finish. Nothing even can do about that. He's lashed yeah, it. Like, lashed, yeah. Poor Slacked defending, it. if you ask me. Clive, Justin Cliver, he's coming to a little bit of form lately, mm-hmm. it seems, as well. And then they just couldn't hold on. And, and then that penalty, was it a penalty? I'm trying to remember the situation. Was it a clear cut pen? Either way, Man United have. Of... No, was it a clear cut pen? I think, was it a handball? It was a handball, wasn't it? It was a handball. Do you remember what the penalty was? Oh, yeah, wait, it was a handball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, was a yeah. It... it was an awful call. But they got away The ref was point, really bad, though. For both sides, he was really bad. He weren't giving the correct free kicks. And so, look, we've talked about this a million times. But I said early on when Ineos and uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe came in, if I was them, Ten Hag has to go. He's right? to go. And everyone was like, no, give him a chance. And I said, well, no, because he's been complicit. So everyone else <laughs> that's been complicit in recent times of them being not great, mm-hmm. they're going to get, they're going to go. Yeah, that, yeah. You know, murter has gone. This person has gone. So why is he exempt from that? Yeah. Some of the biggest waste of money recently have been players that he That's picked sad. out and said were good enough. Casemiro is so bad. Bruv, Anthony. Forget Casemiro, Anthony. Oh, he, he didn't sign Casemiro. Did he sign Casemiro? Last yeah. season? Yeah. He did sign Casemiro. Yeah. I don't know if it, the if fall it off was his sign. No, no, exactly. Yeah, yeah. But, but, it's crazy. Anthony, he's but he's he's had control. For a long time, he had control of signings, etc. So every week, he's been proving me more and more right. If they want to change, you know, he, he said it, he's doing the same thing, expect a different result. If they want to change things, he has to go. You know, he, I don't even know what they try, what, what game are they trying to play? Yeah, it's, it's Yeah, there's it's no, wild. like we said, they, no they haven't got like play. a style of football. Like, what what is Ten Hag ball? Like, we don't know, innit? <laughs> and I was thinking about that. I was like, oh, but Ajax, everyone's kind of crazy about him at Ajax. But Ajax has got a culture. Yeah. They've yeah. got a culture. So that's from... Youth, the youth up. all the way up, yeah. This is how we play football. This is this is the only way we play football. At United, the problem is, as we know, it was mm. a bit of jigsaw here and there. <laughs> <laughs> jigsaw. <laughs> I put this piece in and I don't fit, but yeah, I'm going to get the hammer it. Yeah, yeah. And that's what has happened. But what does he do? No, I'm, but he came and he said, oh, I'm not doing Ajax ball here. I haven't got to play. That's fine, bro. Yeah. How long have you been there now? What are you doing here? Yeah. Forget Ajax. Yeah. What, 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 what are you, what are you doing here? So to your point, they have a culture. It was generally kind of attacking, mm. you know, my night football, whatever. You're not even trying to, well, they tried to do that and that's where they had some success last season mm. when Rashford was doing well, etc. Yeah. But, bro, I just think there's just too many things. The Jadon Sancho thing, the Cristiano Ronaldo thing, the players you did bring in for big money you haven't got been doing that. Apart from Martinez. Yeah, exactly. Not been yeah. doing that well. Martinez has been good. You've been unlucky with his injury. It's fine. And but, even yesterday, he called out Garnacho a bit in the in the press after he's been post. Bored, but... Yeah, I know, but, but like, he's only nineteen. Like it's not. Mm. It's poor. Yeah. Man management is clearly not one <laughs> yeah, of the like, strong hey, points. Bro. But, it's too much. But you bro. gotta remember the Dutch culture is they just talk no. in it. <laughs> no, they... Raphael van der Vaart. <laughs> <laughs> the Dutch culture. They he's, talk. he's bare remember, jokes. <laughs> but remember the World Cup ninety eight World Cup. Pure. No, I get that, but at the same time, you have to be be aware. So be aware of the situation. You're calling out people that are more likely to be here in August than you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're not even cog- cognizant enough to think, actually, you know, protect some of the players, get some buy-in because this hasn't worked for you before. Yeah. You This calling out players, this being the headmaster thing, yeah, yeah. has been more of a failure than a success over in your time. At, at, mate. He's had more high-profile issues with players in 18... Months, 24 months, then some managers <laughs> have had it, several yeah. clubs. Yeah, it's, it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. So it wouldn't surprise me. Like I said, they've got the this, this CEO coming in. They've got um, uh, my man from Newcastle coming in. Yeah. They're taking Jason Wilcox from Southampton, I think, as well. Yeah. I think it's, yeah. So they're really stacking it through. I think Ashworth's going to be director of football. Um, uh, yeah, Wilcox is going to be technical director. Yeah. Yeah. So inevitably, it's yeah. a bit like I was saying about how at Newcastle, yeah. director of football comes in. Yeah, thanks. I want my own manager. Yeah, you know, and and that's got to suck because Fantastic. this is not acceptable, man. Yeah, it's not. Every week, and the performance is so bad. Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, it's it's even surprising <laughs> that they were still in the conversation for potentially getting the Champions League because. But it goes back to your inconsistency point. Yeah, across yeah, yeah. It's across the board, isn't it? Like, you look at them and it's like even when we played them <laughs> last week. We were, we were all over them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Like we should have mm. been out of sight before before they got yeah. the, the first goal. And it's those but, games that made me ask you questions like I asked you earlier, because I'm like, there is no the way my United are playing right now. There is no way they should have been giving you that problems. Yeah. Those problems. No. It's not. Well, the that's the thing. They weren't. Yeah. <laughs> Until we gifted them a goal, they weren't. They yeah, weren't laying a glove on us. Yeah. Yeah. And they'd be like, oh, yeah. True. It happened. True. So, so yeah, my United, I, I don't know what else to say about those guys, but um, I'd be very, very surprised if we restart the Premier League season and Ten Hag is in that job. Um, we don't know if the Southgate rumors are true. That'd be hilarious. <laughs> no, it'd be funny. Southgate would have them performing better, at least with a structure. Yeah. I, well, we know what kind of ball it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Boring ball. It would be. It would be interesting to see how he now adapted to club football. Yeah, because he's been out of club football for a long time. And also, he's built himself this kind of ah, uh, what's the word? He's built himself this little. I don't want to say kingdom, but this uh, this kind of way of working, this little empire. Mm. As England manager, because he's done well, right? He's been the most yeah. successful England manager yeah. since they won it, right? Yeah. Semi final, yeah, final. Turned, like feel good. And, and he created the whole Club England thing, yeah, yeah. etc. So he, he can say strategically, that. all of that stuff. To go from that, where you're picking players every now and again, you, you, you've got so many advantages. They all want to play for England now. You know, Ben White, yeah. and I rate him for what he did, you know, did what he did, but everyone wants to play for England. It's a desirable thing, etc. Brother, you go back to club football day to day. Day day. I don't think they've ordered the pressure of day to day, man. Yeah, yeah. Like you've seen how stressy he gets when he's pressed in England press conferences, yeah. and that's like every three months. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like imagine that every week, and like you know them I journalists. As well. Yeah, them journalists are like, and they are some. What's going on? Questions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I think you. Yeah, I don't think he'd handle the pressure. The I, pressure. I, I mean, I believe that they want him. I'm just. I'm not convinced he takes that job. No. Even if he leaves the England job, why would you take it? I think he, he, I think he goes and starts doing more strategic stuff, like maybe he moves upstairs in the FA and does yeah, the yeah, job. Yeah, um, yeah. Was it Howard Wilkinson was doing before? Yeah, 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 that kind of role. What that, that's yeah. what we're doing. Or maybe another nation, like he might like international roles. Not a top nation. Why not? Based on what he's done at nation at national level. He, he could, he like if, if, I think, if Roberto Martinez can get another national job, Gareth Southgate can. Yeah, but he got a Belgium job. Like, let's be honest. Belgium, like, what was the bar he was uh, he was no, but, working against for the previous Belgian managers? Yeah, but I, still, don't get me wrong. I think the way football is, he could get a job based on his record. Yeah, but it would be super interesting to see him actually do the job. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. we've seen like tactically, he's not the most expansive. Yeah, yeah. Not stupid, he's very stuck in his ways. Even a lot of what he's done well at England. Culture, etc. You bring a new language into that, that that's a new, new yeah, yeah. challenge, all that stuff. So yeah, if he takes that job, I respect him for his bravery. Mm. I think it's stupid if they if they give him that job. I think there's plenty of managers they could be going and talking to. But but yeah, that would be fantastic. I, I think that puts him back a bit, personally. But do you uh, think the 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 the, the murmuring or is based on Harry Maguire's relationship with him, Rashford's relationship with him. What well, Luke Shaw, um, the English core, goes back to the United. That, yeah. that, I think it's But the rumour is that Shaw wants, um, not Shaw, Sir Jim wants an English Yeah, yeah, um, I was about to say. Yeah, yeah. English culture. He would, he would, thing, yeah. yeah, and he's, he talks a lot, right? Mm. So I don't think that rumour's come up anyway. Since he's, he's been at Man United, mm. he's given interviews, He's he, he, he talks quite a bit. Um, and, I'm going to say this now. I'm not sure if he's as info- involved in the football side of things as everyone's making out. I don't think that's a good thing. Mm. He shouldn't be. That's part of the, pro- one of the problems. The, the Dan Ashworth and those guys should be yeah, they should, saying this yeah, thing. Jim Ratcliffe shouldn't be saying to the director of football, yeah, I think we should have to... Bruv, you're not a football guy. Mm. You're not. Like, you've only said the footballers, but you're not, like, you're not at that. So, thanks, but... So, that even that's an issue. But yeah. Do you think he... Um, Ratcliffe is just waiting for all those guys to be appointed and then he's going to take a step back. Yeah, and for me, it's all ifs, right? Like, we, we don't know whether, where, and that could just be he likes how Gareth Southgate's, whatever, but you're right. So maybe he's not that involved in football, but if he is at the level that the rumours suggest, I don't think that's necessarily a good thing mm. for the club. We, we should have executives doing doing that stuff, right? Yeah. Um, and whenever you see anything behind the scenes, the football people do the football stuff. Yeah. you know, And, and that's that. So, anyway, long may it continue. Long may it continue. I mean, looking ahead to the week. Like, do we 
just touch on Burnley quickly, their goalkeeper error. Oh, yes, sorry. When you're when you're in the Myers, Bro. you need everyone to be on job. Is and I rate him because he he dropped Trafford. Like Trafford hasn't been playing the last. Who's few Trafford? Are you they paid the big money for? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, he yeah. hasn't been playing the last few games. Yeah. I can't remember his keeper's name. Oh, it begins with M, right? Yeah, okay, yeah, just it's just. What, what, what's the old say? Basics. 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 Like, you, you can see he was thinking about what he was going to do before he got the ball mm. in it. And it's just like, ah, so unfortunate, uh, man. Five minutes after they scored as yeah. well. And even that was, a, that was an error on Brighton's part. Mm. So the defender played it back short. Keeper went to clear it and it hit the Burnley player's stomach yeah, and, yeah, roll, and, right. roll, and rolled yeah. in. Yeah. And you think, yeah, we've got a fortuitous goal. Let's just hold out now. And they just go and give a, Ooh, a goal away like my, that. I'm not rating anything companies um, uh, rating in for dropping the keeper. Bro, fix up your style. This this stubborn business But they've been playing with... better yes. at Burnley? over yeah. the last yeah, few yeah, weeks. Yeah. Like, they've been playing... Too little, too late, man. <laughs> but, think, but do you think their promotion was ahead of schedule as well? I don't think it was ahead of schedule, but I, I unless he gets fired... There was definitely an agreement that look, we're gonna to stick to what we're doing. It's a much more longer term plan. Yeah. You know, they go down. I think now you get 100 million if you get relegated. Really <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think the style of this promotion, because they won it so convincingly, okay. yes. that kind of put an expectation marker above his head. I think if they had just gone up like on the last day of the season or something like that, they they blew everyone away, innit? Yeah. Kind of thing. And they were like, oh yeah, the football's great. And to me, like we know looking at the championship. Championship's not an easy league. Mm. Like we we know that, innit? And they, yeah. they but, but, it. but I tell you what though, this this also lends to a theory that, like, you know, yes, you go and cut your cloth, learn your game at lower level, etc. But championship ball and Premier League ball is two different things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's almost like company needs to cut his teeth in the Prem. Mm. He needs to do that in yeah. the Prem or League One or any of the other top leagues because that championship business, yeah, of course that football was gonna was gonna go off the championship. Of course that was gonna gonna kill them. But we've not seen any green shoots. Uh, but yeah. when when I've watched them, like I said, I think there's patterns of play and things that they're doing well. It's just mainly quality of players. Yeah. And execution. The execution, yeah. football IQ, physicality, mm. you know, mm. of the players. I hope they keep him. Yeah. Because I think if they get the right players in next season, I think they and they they come back up. Yeah. I think they they might have a better. Step I think in. if he doesn't adapt a little bit more, then he deserves whatever decision they make. <laughs> I'm no, I'm sorry. It's part it's part of the job. You got that. You got that too. <laughs> have you got some people to fire at work this week or something? No, no, no. Like, like I like companies. I respect the approach and all of that, but bro, it's still a job. It's still a job. But uh, yeah, look, guys, we've we've uh, run out of time. Another week's gone. Um, I'll quickly big up by Leverkusen, man. They won the league today. Yes, yes, big up by Leverkusen. Big up Shaka. Big up, Alonso. Jacko won the league before Arsenal, yeah. Oh, this is what you did? Yeah. Well, like, well calm down, yeah. Calm down. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, Alonso is coming for a lot of people's necks. He's coming for a lot. I think uh, a couple a couple of years, if you're a top club, you're not performing. I think Alonso is... Because uh, he's staying another season with Bayern. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, next summer... That's it, he's gone. Yeah, he's gone. So, so yeah, yeah. big up Bayern Leverkusen. It's always good to see a new team win the league, break that kind of stronghold, etc., uh, and Harry Kane didn't go there and win anything. So, yeah, fantastic. Yeah. All, right. All, good. All good. As always, uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. We will see you next week. Peace. Peace.